After logging into your course, we're going to talk about making assessments. The assessments tool in WebCT Vista operates very similar as it did in WebCT Campus Edition. When you log in, you'll default to your Build tab. This is the designer role. This allows us to create assessments, content, learning objects for students. We'll begin making our first assessment by clicking on the assessment tool under the course tools menu. After clicking on the assessments tool, the assessments location will appear. Since this is a new course, we have no assessments and no questions in the database. We'll begin by clicking create assessment. The first thing you need to do is give a title to your assessment. An assessment is, is a quiz, it's a, a survey, and we'll call this Quiz 1. And you can give uh, a description for what this type of assessment is going to be, and we'll just say your first quiz. Um, if this was a midterm or a final or over a specific topic, this is where you would describe that information. It's going to default as hide item until later we need to add some content to it. Um, but the default is to hide the item. It's very important that you remember to come back and unhide the item later on. The gradebook column name shown here is what it's going to appear as in the gradebook. And this is where you, if you need to make any alterations or add any grades, that's where you would do that. So make sure that you select a name that is going to reflect your grading procedures. Now the type of assessment that it is um, can be selected here. Quizzes are online assessments for which grades are assigned. Surveys are anonymous uh, online evaluations for which no grades are assigned. And a self-test uh, is very similar, but uh, you know there, there's just no grades that go along with it. Uh, so design towards your needs and towards the needs of the students. If you have predefined goals in your syllabus tool, you can add them here by pressing select goals and adding the, the goals that you have predefined. At this point, if I was simply going to finish the assessment, I would click save. If I was unhappy with my work, I could click cancel or go back and edit what I've created. But at this point, what I'm going to do is save and add questions. And this is going to move us directly into the assessment tool. So here I am. Note that I am in quiz one. And the breadcrumbs up here are very important. It gives our location. We are in assessments. We're in create assessment. And we are in quiz one. And you can expand the description that we, we defined. So if the, again, if this is your final or whatever, that will be up here. So we're going to add to assessment or create questions. The difference between these two options is that if you're adding to an assessment, you're going to add a question directly. If you're going to create questions, they may not necessarily be in this assessment. So let's go ahead and begin by add to assessment. And you can see there are two different options here, existing questions or a question set. The difference between uh, existing questions is existing questions is a, an individual or a couple of questions that you've already made. And a question set is going to be um, a whole range of questions that you will define. Uh, now let's go ahead and click on Create Questions. And this is the question types. You can see that there is Calculated, Combination, Fill in the Blank, Jumbled Sentence, Matching, Multiple Choice, Paragraph, Short Answer, and True or False. Um, this allows you to add the type of questions that you need for your students and for your lesson. In our next video, what we will do is we will go through creating questions.